securing an API with API keys. Here we have an example API controller, and in this video, we're going to secure it, only allowing clients who have the valid API key to access our precious examples. Let's make a post request to create an example and see what happens. I'm using Postman to send requests. It's a great tool for working with APIs. Here we have a JSON payload for a new example we want to create. But when we send the request, we see in the response body that it caused the server to raise an exception. Going over to the console, we find that Rails raised an action controller invalid authenticity token error. Rails raises this error when a request to change a resource comes in that lacks a valid authenticity token. This protects our application from cross-site request forgery attacks. You don't normally see this error when working with forms as the Rails form helpers automatically add this token as a hidden field. When the form is submitted, this field is compared with a value in the session and we can tell whether or not this form was submitted from our site. Let's skip the authenticity token verification method as we have no way to securely pass a token to the API client. Now, submitting the request creates the resource. The problem is, our API is insecure and we accept requests from anybody. This won't do. We need to be a little more discerning in our clientele. Okay, to fix this, let's start by writing the code we wish we had and then make it work. We want to return a 403 forbidden status unless the request has a valid API key. We need to have the has API key method return something other than just nil, or no one can use our API. Ideally, we want to compare an API key that the client sends over with some known key we already possess. If the two match, then the client has a valid API key and is welcome to use our service. API keys are sent by the client in the request headers. A common header field name for the API key is x-api-key, so we'll put our candidate key in there. We can access the request headers in a controller with the headers method on the request object. This gives us a headers object with keys we can access like a hash. Let's inspect the x-api key field so we can see its value in the console. It, as you can see, is the value we sent over from the client. Incidentally, you might have noticed that last request created an example. That's because our has API key method returns a string which is truthy. Instead of always returning true, we'll compare the X API key header value with some string to make sure it's the one we expect. I'm just going to hard code this for now. See my previous video for how to store this value correctly. Sending the request again with the ABC123 API key succeeds, and sending the request with the different API key returns as 403 forbidden. As we're going to want to repeat this exact same logic again for the show action, let's move it into a method and call it in a before action callback. Sending the incorrect API key still returns a 403, and sending the correct API key creates a resource. That's it for now.